Welcome back, Freedom Savers. Another week's gone by, and a lot has happened in the crazy aggressive dividend portfolio. So I told you about my stock, GOV, merging with SIR, SIR. Anyway, they merged with SIR and changed their name to OPI. And in the process of doing that, they did a one for four reverse split. And what that means is for every four stocks of GOV that I owned, they are now going to give me one share of stock in OPI. And I was waiting forever for M1 Finance to show OPI in here in my stocks. So I called them on the 8th and they totally reset my account, something to that effect, which made the shares of OPI show up and said that I had actually received them on the 2nd, but for some reason it wasn't showing up. Well, the second was the first day that they began trading OPI on the market, so that made sense. So I went ahead and I removed the slices uh, for the trusts because I told you that the royalty trusts that I was investing in actually have tax consequences to them that I don't want to deal with. So we went ahead and we removed those. And when I removed them, it automatically put in buy orders for the rest of the stocks in the aggressive slice. So I removed those two slices and next day I know all the money that I was getting from selling those two stocks, 200, about 220 bucks, was automatically being reinvested in this pie. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So I called them and I found out what happens is if you remove slices from a pie, it will automatically reinvest the money that from, this, from that sell back into that particular pie. Even if you have auto invest turned off, it'll still reinvest back into that particular pie. And this, as you can see, this particular pie here for the aggressive dividend is way overweighted right now. So it should never buy stocks from this pie. And it really shouldn't do it if auto invest is turned off. So I was like, what the hell's going on here? And they explained to me when you remove the slices, it's just rebalancing. So it's going to automatically purchase the stocks in the pie. If you put a sell order in for those, then you get to then you'll keep the funds from selling them and then they'll be reinvested appropriately or not at all if you have auto invest turned off which i did so long story short i sold the those two uh trusts got about 220 bucks from it i did get a little bit of profit off that sell and then the next day i put 75 dollars into this to try to balance this pie a little bit and then the day after that, I split 75 into this one and 70 something into the other, other pie. This one, the BDCs and MREITs. So overall, basically I sold two trusts for 220 bucks and I reinvested the 220 bucks directly back in here. Now my original plan was to add two other stocks in here, which was going to be SUNS and SAR. I did not do that and I've just chosen not to do that. I'm just going to leave them out. So the aggressive dividend stock uh, pie here used to have 10 stocks in it now only it has eight but nothing's changed over here in the bdc's and m rates so yeah all that happened another thing that happened is when they reset my account to make my uh opi shares show up right here when they reset my account it completely reset the tracking of the account the gain the return and the dividends earned so if we go over to our portfolio on the dividends, you can see I was already earning over $11 at the time, I believe, of dividends. But yeah, I came in here and I had 11 cents. So no more tracking of dividends for me. Um, that's a problem. At least I've got the amount of dividends I've earned tracked in my spreadsheet. What the only thing I missed was uh, January 9th when AT&T paid out their dividend or didn't pay it out. They, if the next div date came. So I earned that much or I earned dividends from them. I don't know how much I earned from them. I could go find out how many shares I had that day and then calculate it myself, but it's not that big a deal. It's a few cents that I earned and it'll work out in the end. So I'm not too worried about it. But that's the only one I missed. So the earned dividends is a little higher than what this says by however much AT&T is going to pay me. So that happened, um, unfortunately. I, it is annoying seeing that I've only earned 11 cents here, 
If I come in here, I've earned none in uh, my aggressive dividends, supposedly, even though I know AT&T, I earned some. And over here, I earned 11 cents. Well, maybe not. Maybe I got this backwards. No, this is aggressive dividends again. The BDCs and MREITs. I've earned 11 cents and those were from the MREITs, I believe. Yes. That's annoying that I cannot see my past dividends earned, but it is what it is. I've gotten my LPI shares, so we're all good. And I can still track my yearly, so it's okay. Anyways, let's get into this. Um, current portfolio value is $1,408.79 with $2.10 sitting in cash. Got paid dividends from these four companies and I deposited $50 on the 8th and we bought 40 shares, 40 stocks. Let's see here. Then I sold Masabi Trust and MVO Oil Trust. These are two trusts. I got $218.42 for that. And we end up spending $73.11 on the rest of the pie. And then the next day it had left over since I had to do the sell order instead of just removing the slice. Well, the value went up and so I still had $2.99 worth of Masabi Trust to sell. So we sold it the next day. And then we finished off with all the money that we made from those two sales and purchased the rest of the stocks in the pie. Funding wise, we are still investing $50 a week in this on Mondays. Let's hop over to the spreadsheet. So the current value is $1,408.79. The total deposited into this is $1,330 with referrals, which means I'm up by $78.79, a 5.92% gain. So that's pretty good. Uh, overall dividends, $1,175. We've been paid $1.47 of that this month. And you can see I sold those two trusts. Dividend changes. I don't believe there was any. That was a special dividend. This one, DX, actually changed from paying out quarterly to monthly. I almost was sold this. I was ready to sell this. And I was doing all my investigation on why this dropped its dividend so low. Because it dropped it by 66%. And I'm like, you're cutting your dividend by 66% and I'm not even that invested in you. I'm going to sell you. But I did my research and found out that they are going from paying out quarterly to paying out monthly. And the dividend actually did not change at all. So that's what happened with that guy. And that's it for the dividend changes. Now that DX, by the way, that changed to monthly, guess what? It just got added to my monthly dividends portfolio as well. So anyways, to this, we've had one investing day for me because it's the only day I invested. We invested $50. We sold two trusts. One of those trusts gave over 20% yield. The other one was over 13% yield. We did not replace them. And therefore we have dropped our yield and we have dropped our yearly income by $31.44, which gives me a negative 62.88% yield on cost for this week. Overall average is 10.25%, and my overall average yield on cost is 10.59%. So that's not too bad. So don't let these numbers scare you too much. It's just that I sold those two trusts and I did not replace them with these two like I originally planned. So that gives us $136.71 per year or $11.39 per month, giving us an overall return on this portfolio just from dividends of 10.28%. Not too shabby. So that's the aggressive portfolio, guys. It's been kind of a mess. A lot of activity even though it doesn't look like a lot of activity, there's been a lot of activity with the sale of those trusts and them resetting the damn account and messing up my dividend tracking. Um, but it's all set now. We own what we should own. It's all good. So there it is, guys. That's all I got for the aggressive dividends. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope your portfolios are doing awesome. Have a great weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and if you liked the video, hit that like button for me. 
Um, if you want to hear any specific type of information, anything that you're interested in, you have any questions, just drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions on this video or any other video I've made. And if you know anyone else that might be interested in this video, please be sure to share it on your social media and share the knowledge. Thanks, guys.